Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Precious Metal Summit 2019 in Zurich, day two. And with me now is Chessa Resources, Mike Brown, the CEO, who is yeah, for the first time here and, of course, wants to give us an insight into his company. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, great to have you here. Mike, what's the company about? Where are you working? What are you doing? Right. Well, Chessa Resources, we're Australian listed, uh, ticker on Australian Stock Exchange's CHZ. Uh, we're focused in Senegal, West Africa. Oh, okay. Um, really exciting place to be. Mm -hmm. They're uh, along a belt with 45 million ounces in, on the Mali side discovered mm -hmm. in the last 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. And we are on the early stages of a discovery on the Senegal side, which yeah. is which is a great great story to have. Fantastic. Um, as I saw in your presentation, you did a discovery, of course. Before mm -hmm. we talk about it, how did you come on Senegal? Because uh, I think you are the first company even I'm talking about who is working in a Senegal. Well, they're, they're actually <laughs> uh, interesting. There are actually two uh, operating mines in Senegal, mm -hmm. th uh, th a third small private one. But Taranga Gold are there with... Um, um, Sabadola mine, which is mm -hmm. over 5 million ounces, mm -hmm. um, and Resolute Mining from Australia recently purchased Toro mm -hmm. Gold Mako mine. So there are two mm -hmm. operating mines in, mm -hmm. in Senegal. Um, we came across a, a, a portfolio of projects back mm -hmm. in 2017, and the mm -hmm. company acquired those after having sold a discovery in, in Turkey, returned 30 million of that to shareholders. Oh, nice. Uh, and it's Chesa Reloaded, Chesa 2. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, and Senegal is fantastic. It's yeah. in, of West African jurisdictions, it's it, to me, it's a standout in terms of opportunity, safety, mm -hmm. Uh, stable mm -hmm. democracy oh, and good. the potential for for this type of uh, discovery. Yeah, fantastic. So discovery is the key word. Yeah. What have you discovered? <laughs> yeah. um, so we've been drilling. Uh, we started drilling in January of this year, following some uh, auger drilling last year and, and year before uh, to define a a very large gold in 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 auger. Um, Anomaly. Mm -hmm. We started drilling in January, had some really good results, couldn't quite put them together in terms of the direction and orientation. Mm -hmm. We came back and drilled that in July. Mm -hmm. And on the back of those results in July, we've got an early stage discovery, still early stage, but we've got eight holes into a, into a zone that um, high grade gold, shallow, fresh rock, pyrite, um, got all the similarities of of a lot of the projects on the Mali side, which are all five million ounce plus deposits. Mm -hmm. So then we're in a really good postage stamp area, mm -hmm. uh, very close to the Senegal Mali shear zone. Uh, we've got Barrick and IM Gold very operative just around mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. um, so we're sort of set up now. Yeah. And hopefully this week or early next week, we'll actually get the rigs spinning again because oh, wow. we're funded. Okay. Um, so we're Super. in a great position. Yeah, yeah, we're in a really good position. Fantastic. When you say high-grade gold, uh, first <coughs> of all, what, what were the grades and uh, let's say intercepts you have found? Yep. And is there a side of the gold any other metals? No, so they're, they're basically they're, these orogenic uh, gold deposits are, are, are as they are, they're gold. There's mm -hmm. pretty much there's no other metals with them. Mm -hmm. um, the grades, the, the best grades that we had were 21 meters at 6.3 mm -hmm. grams mm -hmm. and wow. uh, 14 nice. meters at 9.5 mm -hmm. grams. Mm -hmm. um, those are true widths. These are shallow dipping. Uh, mineralized zones that, mm -hmm. are, that are dipping down to the east. Mm -hmm. um, as I mentioned, only eight holes, uh, so a, a lot of potential in terms of untested areas for us to to test and look to expand mm -hmm. that footprint and mm -hmm. look for repetitions. But um, Fantastic. looking Great. really good at this stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> I can imagine that you were quite happy when you saw the drill call. Yeah. So you said the drills are turning. You said you are funded. So how many meters uh, you want to do now? And let's say 2020. Right. I mean, so the two programs we've done now have been just under sort of about five thousand meters each program. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're actually going to drill diamond drill on course. So mm -hmm. these are surface, uh, close to surface discovery, mm -hmm. uh, but there is no rock outcrop. So we're essentially drilling blind. Mm -hmm. So with diamond drilling, we'll do 2,000 meters of diamond drilling to really get an understanding of the host of the mineralization mm -hmm. that we see now, and then look to expand and, and look a little mm -hmm. bit deeper. We don't need to go that deep. We're not drilling down to 300 meters. Mm -hmm. We're looking into what might be potentially open pitable in the future, so near surface. Um, so like 100, 150 meters down probably. Yeah, th so the diamond holes might be 150 meters, mm -hmm. sort of 150, 160 meters, because mm -hmm. they'll be angled, so they're a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, and then the RC holes will do um, 2,500 meters. Mm -hmm. um, the drilling's pretty easy there. Um, it's very flat, it's access, there's a sealed road. The sealed road to Mali goes right through our wow, project. Wow, okay. Um, Super. It's, uh, so we'll be finished by before the year end mm -hmm. when we start drilling. So we're still waiting for a, for a government sign-off on, on the drill mm -hmm. contract. Mm -hmm. um, so it shouldn't take long. It's 40 days probably of work. Mm -hmm. uh, so by mid-December mm -hmm. through to through to January, we'll start getting results from these. Super. And uh Hopefully all things go well and uh, we're yeah. in a com completely different stage if those results 
yeah. start proving yeah. out this, this fantastic early stage. so how much how much is it drill meter then down the Senegal? because it sounds like it should be quite uh, yeah reasonable really cheap actually uh, mm-hmm. Senegal is a great place to work in that sense um, mm-hmm. we've got a drill contractor and um, it's a bit over a hundred US dollars all in cost for uh, diamond mm-hmm. and a bit over a bit over 55 60 dollars all in cost for RC so uh-huh. it costs about four hundred and fifty thousand dollars um, to do 4,500 meters of drilling, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and we'll get that done in the month once the rigs actually start, start oh, spinning. That's so fantastic. It's, it's, uh, Great. So that means we uh, can expect some use flow in Q1. Uh, yeah, year. well, uh, uh, fingers crossed, <laughs> we might even get it in Q4. I mean, yeah. it's possible that we can get some results because mm-hmm. it's really early in the um, field. The field season proper hasn't started in mm-hmm. Senegal and Mali because of the wet season. The wet season ends typically in, in sort of mid to end of September. Um, it's been a dry year in Senegal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We've got tracked drill rigs, so it, it's early for us to get in. Mm-hmm. It means the laboratory in, in Mali is mm-hmm. not backlogged with lots of samples, mm-hmm. so we're hoping so that once we get our fast. samples there, there'll be a quick turnaround. Fantastic. Be Great. Well, Mike, then thank you very much and uh, all the best, and we look forward to some good news from you guys. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you. yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Mike Brown, right, the CEO from Chessel Resources, and uh, you heard it, the drills are turning Quite, quite soon. They are just waiting for a last final permit. And the, the company is uh, cashed up for that. And uh, yeah, we look forward after their first discovery to see some more good results out of that. So stay tuned. Check out the company. Thanks for watching us. And bye-bye from Zurich.